A terrible tragedy happened this week in Rideshare, and I think we need to talk about it. Welcome to the Average Me channel, everybody. I'm Mark. And as I said, a terrible tragedy occurred this week in Houston. A 57-year-old rideshare driver, she drove for both Uber and Lyft. Her name was Amina Gardner, was struck down by a vehicle and killed. So let me tell you a little bit about the story and perhaps we can all learn something from this and be safer because of it. Amina had just dropped off a passenger. I don't know if she was driving for Uber or Lyft at the time. And she was on the Katy Freeway. Now, I'm not familiar enough with Houston to know exactly where that is, but she got a flat tire. This was approximately 2.30 in the morning. So I know you think you know what I'm gonna say, but not necessarily. The reason I'm pointing this out is there's a couple of factors at work here. But let me finish telling the story. We will hear from Amina's family and then I'll tell you why I think 2.30 a.m. does come into play. So she got a flat tire and she got out to change a tire. She was on the phone with her husband. As I would imagine most of us would be if we're in this situation. It's uh, late at night or early in the morning. We get a flat tire. We want to be talking to somebody. We want to let them know what's happened, where we are. Um, maybe just get a few words of encouragement whatever it might be. I don't know exactly what she was saying to her husband, but she ended the call and then reopened in um, FaceTime, I believe. And suddenly the phone went dead. Her husband didn't know what had happened. Well, what had happened is she was struck and killed by a vehicle. She apparently had told her husband she had the tire on, she only had to tighten up the lug nuts and she would be on her way. It was a hit and run. So let's hear from the family and then I'll give him my analysis. You took away someone that was truly special. She was about to put the lugs on when all of a sudden the phone went black. I just want to tell the world that my mom was a beautiful soul. Beautiful, beautiful soul. Loved ones say Gardner leaves behind four children and two grandchildren. This was a hit and run. And personally, I don't think it'll be long before they either catch this person or they're going to turn themselves in. They know it was a white vehicle. They probably know what kind of vehicle it was because the rear view mirror was broken off and left behind. So it's not gonna be long before they find that car. Someone's going to see a car with a missing rear view mirror. They're going to call it in, or this person perhaps is going to call their attorney and turn themselves in. So let's talk about what we can learn from this. It's a tragedy. There's nothing that's going to bring Mrs. Gardner back. And my heart goes out to her family. There is a GoFundMe page and I will leave it here if you want to contribute. But here's the thing, 2.30 in the morning, there are two, at least two contributing factors. Number one, it's dark. And when it's late at night, you can't be seen. No one thinks there's going to be a person kneeling down by the side of their car on the highway. And if this person that hit them, I don't know. I can't say for sure. But if they were truly innocent, they weren't drinking or anything like that, and they hit someone, they would have been so much better off to pull over and render some assistance to her. I don't know if they could have saved her or not. But I'll tell you, for the rest of your life, you wouldn't have to fight your conscience in that regard. Secondly, I suspect at 2.30 in the morning, alcohol was a factor. And that's probably why this person left. It's another reason that I think they're probably going to turn themselves in after uh, a period of time when it's too late to actually ascertain whether or not they had been drinking. And I don't doubt that they weren't able to see the person. But if you couldn't see someone, you hit them and it was truly an accident, you're probably not going to get in that much trouble. I mean, you're going to have to live with that in your conscience the rest of your life. But as far as legal consequences, accidents do happen. Unfortunately, we don't know right now. I suspect that accident or not, this person, uh, they did some things wrong. They left a person to die. 
Now, what can we learn from this as rideshare drivers? Well, I, you know, it's easy to say I would have, I could have, I should have, but I have been in this situation, this exact situation. Well, it wasn't late at night, but it was rush hour on the Chicago interstate, just out of Chicago. And I did have a tire that went flat on the driver's side with traffic buzzing by me. There was no way I was going to kneel down in front of that traffic alongside that car and change that tire. Now I have AAA and that's what I'm gonna encourage everybody. If you drive professionally, you should have, you should be a member of some kind of a car club. Uh, AAA, it's base level, I think costs about $65. And that way she wouldn't have been on the side of the car changing that tire. She could have called the car service, they would have come, uh, they would have had that tire changed in no time. She would have had a little wait, but she could have been on the phone with her husband and she would have been on her way and it doesn't cost any more than that annual fee. So uh, barring that, I don't know, I just, it's too much of a risk to be on the side of that road changing your tire. And that's a risk of, uh, just another risk of, of driving that late at night. But I think it could happen anyway. You know, when I was on I-94 outside of Chicago during rush hour with thousands of cars buzzing by me at 80 miles an hour or more, I'll tell you, it was not a good feeling being out there. So I can't imagine doing the same thing at 2.30 in the morning. So those are my thoughts. We'll see what happens. We'll see if this person turns themselves in. We'll see if someone turns them in, if police investigation turns them up and catches them. But I think they're going to get caught. And um, I hope that we all learn something from this. As always, um, if you learned a little something, please like and share the video. Uh, let me know what you think down below. Am I wrong or is there something I missed? And I'll see you here. And I'll see you here next time on Uber Hands.